So through all of our travels for the last four years, you have been looking for one thing. One special little thing. One special little thing. I know. Did but you now find I, it finally? I found the biggest one ever. Found my Tortuga. <laughs> That's the kind I want. <laughs> it's the biggest Tortuga I've ever seen. This house is about as big as ours too. <laughs> it is. He's really big. Yeah. That is a desert tartuga. Yeah, you're not going to find one any bigger. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, he's cute. They've been painting these nails. Oh, yeah, he's got he's got painted nails. <laughs> Very cool. Love it. What'd you want? Dimes? Dimes. Dimes. We used the nickels already. All right, so for all you nomads out there that are newbies, there's 20 cents. So a lot of times when you come up to the water areas, dispenser areas um, in Arizona, you can drive up and they've got a hose so that you can fill up your rigs. Unfortunately here they don't have that. We've looked all around here in Nevada in the area that we're at. Well in Bullhead City so far. Yeah, Bullhead City. So what we're doing is we're just filling up our containers. It's 20 cents for a gallon. Yep. And then Coming Scotty over goes over here <laughs> and he's got this uh <laughs> That that was the whole reason just to buy these things. <laughs> Fit perfectly in there. Because we've had we've bought um different um what do they call them? Funnels. funnels. Yep. We've we've bought another funnels, but the way that they sit, it doesn't work that well. So he just uses that. It works absolutely fine. But sometimes this is what you have to do in order to get your tanks filled up. We and this is fresh drinking water. Yeah. We uh we took showers today, so we wanted to uh, make sure that we have enough water to get us uh, through the next four or five days. So, that's as long what as our doing. water pump don't go out, which is taking a dive yeah, now. Yep, yep. I was in the shower this morning, and it went out three times on me, and Scotty had to smack it around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get it fixed. Can I have some, can I have <laughs> oh, you change? want some? You want yeah. some nickels? Some moolah. Nickels. Oh, is that what you found? A bunch more nickels? Yeah, I found nickels. This is how you get rid of all your change. Yeah, we just throw all of our change in a container, and this is what we use it for. We either use it for laundry or we use it for water dispensers. So, just like dumping, you gotta I save. Got another nickel? You gotta, uh, yeah. I got one more nickel. All right, give me all the money. There, you go. gotta save your pennies. There. Save your pennies and mm -hmm. budget water in and budget your dump and. Propane, we just got propane. Yeah, $2.29 a gallon, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad here. What? <laughs> I couldn't hear you in there. What did you say? I can't put two nickels in in a dime. I tried three dimes, it's not turned on, so I probably need two more nickels to... Oh, should we try the other machine? Okay, let me see if I got two more nickels. Let's see. That's why it is a good idea to always save all your change. Of course. Just, just two. Of course you can go to the store and get change if you want to. Oh, hang on. Well, oh, you know. broke it. Uh-oh. Well, there's another dime. <laughs> You didn't put a dime in, right? No, I put a nickel. Maybe I didn't put enough. That's right. You need one more nickel. Oh, it, well, I thought you had enough in there. Honey, I don't have any more nickels. I only got dimes. Let me go look in my purse. Well, let me see what's... <laughs> Maybe it... No. Maybe it's out of water. Uh, maybe we'll just go over here and try. Well, it should kick my. But where's all of our change? 
Uh oh, got ripped off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Did it take dimes? This one did. Okay. So let me give you a. Oh, it's not okay. keep dumping some water. All right. It's a good thing you're not uh, late for a very important date. <laughs> I know. I don't got much going on today. So uh, Aja and John are down getting propane. So we got plenty of time to do this. I'm sure there's an easier way and somebody will tell us all about it. But this is how we do it when there's no hose to fill up. She's full. She's full. So now we just get our drinking water. Okay, this one's done then. Okay, let's go, to go put those away and I'll continue to fill it. So our truck camper holds 30 gallons. We had some water in there, so we didn't have to quite do 30 gallons. And then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We filled up five of these for drinking. That's what we'll have. And we have more in the camper. I think we've got 10 of these. And these containers are really great um, for a truck camper because we can put these uh, on the well in the wheel well area and they stack this way side by side so it just makes for a good um, we can get quite a few of them in there oh I can't even fill the last one I need one more uh oh I need a dime so I'm going to take this one back to Scotty. Babe, oh. I need a dime. You oh. can have a dime. Thank you, sir. Is there just one more left? Uh, I've got one and then two more. I only need one more to fill up. So that's oh, where wow. that's where Scotty stacks them all in there. You can see yeah. that in there. Stacks them. How many of those do we fit in there? Uh, One, two, think, three, four, think, five, six. Uh, I think eight go on this side, and then two over here. I think we have a total of eleven of those. Yeah. So usually I get like nine in here. Yeah. So we always have plenty of drinking water. We drink lots of water. I drink lots of water. Oh, my last one. Go center it. Fill her up. Lots okay, of water. I've got that done. So, a uh, dollar for five gallons for good drinking water, not bad at all. Nice thing about being down in Yuma area, though, is you can get five gallons of nice, clean, filtered water for 50 cents. So that's where we, I kind of got used to filling up the tank, our, our uh, water tank, with that. I mean, I only carried 30 gallons. And most we ever go through is 20 anyway, so, you know, for a couple bucks, I just as well put this nice, clean, filtered water in. Then, right. Other than the desert water, it, it gets old real quick, that desert water. <laughs> but at least that gives you guys some idea of if you're traveling and you can't find a place to fill up with water, that gives you an idea of how to go ahead and do it. Now, I don't know uh, if you had an art, uh, like a class A or a class C. That might be a little hard. We only know about uh, campers. So. Yeah, well some of them you have to actually hook a hose up to and pressurize it. For pressurize, it yeah. This we one don't doesn't, so we're pretty lucky that way. Right. Alright, now we're going up to meet Aja at Walmart because we are heading to the lake today. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. very much. I got some spotted bananas because I'm gonna make some banana banana bread. And we were trying what were we trying to find? Uh, corn beef. Corn beef. Corn beef so I can make some Rubens. But the price on corn uh, beef is a little high here so we're gonna see what it is just get sliced. Oh I should look. Ooh okay. It was 877 a pound. 
You don't like cooking, do you? That's, no, I'll cook a corned beef. That's almost three times as much. Yeah, no, I'll cook a corned okay. beef. Because these are three ninety eight a pound. That's three, a yeah. much better. Yeah. We're just making Rubens, but this will give us leftover, and it'll be good. It's a sliced deli meat with a bunch of stuff in it. Do you like the point cut? Is that the one you like? Well, I'm gonna get a point cut because it's higher and it's a what? fat. It's a fattier content. No. The points are a little bit more dry. I like both cuts, but. I'm gonna go ahead and get this good one. It don't really matter. You want my one? Oh. Point cut's good though. I mean, because it's got. Do we need how big of one? It's a little bit more need? flavorful oh. than a flat cut. That one I don't like. That's that. too yeah. small. Yeah. Okay. Well, you ribbons. picked it out already. Yep. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's a that's a that's a good cut. That's a cooker. All right. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. <laughs> well, we other people don't have to. <laughs> Oh, he pulled them all forward for him. Aja turned me on to smothered uh, frozen burritos. And we don't buy those very often, but those are just yummy. Got all of our groceries, we're ready to go. No. Can you stack it in the bags? Most of the stuff we get is uh, great value. Not too brand loyal, just on some things. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I have to ask Gaja though, because it was her thing. That's gotta be the cheapest thing <laughs> ever to. Okay. You got the receipt? I got the receipt. I don't want to get mugged leaving. I know. We are done grocery shopping. What you think? You ready to go to the lake? Hmm? You wanna go to the lake? You wanna go swimming? It's warm enough here. Huh? She said, no, I don't wanna go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> it's the river. It's only colder the further north we go. That's right. Telephone Cove Road. Now we're gonna go all the way back down. Yep, to the water. All right, so the sign continue on Nevada Telephone Cove Road for four miles. Okay, four miles. Uh, Lake Mead National Recreation Area, state legal vehicles only, no off road driving, no vehicle camping, no target shooting, pets must be unleashed, seven day limit. And there is a Big fine, I believe, for wood burning wood pellets. Yep. It's about time. Yay. <laughs> clean, dry. Oh, clean and dry your watercrafts. Let's have milkweed or something that transfers. No so fireworks. you can't use side by sides then? No side by sides? Well, it says no off road vehicles. Oh, I don't know. Bumpy. Ooh, it's bumpy, bumpy. Wow, look at that view. Uh, vehicle per pit, what did it say? Permitted on roads, basically uh, okay. signed up roads. For some reason when I went to read that, I thought it said we had to have a permit. Well, this isn't so bad. Not any worse than You could have came across down Senator there pretty close to go, but. Ooh. Dogs must be unleashed. Pick up after your pets, of course. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, guys. That's 
we're going right down there to that lake. It says four by four recommended. This is how you get your uh, camper all the way snugged up to the back of the truck. <laughs> then you tighten it up and then go back downhill and it'll stay. There you go. Oh my gosh, it's so bumpy. It's just way too bouncy to hang on to the camera. The last thing is because once you get set in this lot, there's nothing to do. So you can just go back to Lachlan, it's only 15 miles, so I'll never have to take this road and back out. Correct. The views up here are amazing, though. I like the rock formation, the mountains and the distance. A lot more hills here. Ooh. Oh, it's really bad coming up. I can see him. No, it's going to go slow. Oh. <laughs> We're like grunting and groaning all the way down. Oh boy. No. Damn, I can't stop it. Huh? I can't, I can't stop the roll. You can't stop the truck? I can stop the truck. Yeah, just stop the truck. It's not going to stop the roll. Well, <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> okay, that made me giggle. It's like a, like a uh, ride. Like it wasn't going to end. <laughs> What's that? Mm. <laughs> that was the absolute rocking and rolling. Yeah. Boy, take that next hill coming down a little slow because it really got us rocking and rolling. Did it? Yeah, I'm trying to take all the downhill pretty slow. I feel like I'm on a big side-by-side um, -side track. <laughs> yeah, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Let's see if I can see Aja over there. There's Jeff. Who? I mean, no, John. John. Okay, there's John. Oh, golly, it's so... Right, here comes oh, Aja's, Aja's the way over there. Going up the hill. <laughs> It's only a wash away. There's Aj. <laughs> and look at Pumpkin. She is just such a... She's so good traveling. She's just sleeping. She's like, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, we do. Well, as they said, four miles. Got 2.8 miles to go. Really? Dang, I figured we were at least close to half. <laughs> no. Oh. We thought we'd camp right here. Oh, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a beautiful view. The view is beautiful, and, and my GPS just said, You've arrived. <laughs> I hope not. No, I think we still need to get down to the water. Absolutely. Yeah, here's a sign right here. Nevada Telephone Cove to Lake. Seven day limit. Like a NASCAR race right here. <laughs> Look at all the bankings. Yeah, you could have fun out here on a side by side, but if you're not allowed to ride them. Wow, you've got to really want to come and get near the water to go down here. I'm just going to say it right now. <laughs> it's a long way back here. Oh, and as you can see with the camera, it's probably not even doing it justice because there's uh, a shock, whatever stabilizer. you call it, stabilizer on the camera. But it's a ride, guys. I say you pack for seven <laughs> days and then... That's what you do. Yeah. You can't see all the holes and the ruts and the washboard, but it's pretty rough. This is 
why some of our friends said that they won't come here because they've been here before. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, and we it's, listened real well. Actually, the exact words were, F that place, I hate that road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, were, that was the exact words. <laughs> From one of our good friends. That's why it's been here be before. Here. I see campers, and it's full down here. Still coming down the hill, Aj? Yeah, probably, but surely. Okay, don't sound so excited. <laughs> I'm just ready to be off this road. Here I come. Okay, and you're almost down. Um, there's not a lot of room on the beach side, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. Well, you want me just to drive up and look? I see it's pretty busy. It's fine, you know, we can just find a spot. We're going to be here several days, so, you know, when it, if a spot clears out, we can just grab it. Oh, this is really beautiful. So, you want me to go forward? It is look? very beautiful. Yeah, we'll drive down and go see if we can find Marsha and see if there's any room down there. Good. All right. Oh, All right. it's Donna. Wow. Hey, Donna. Great. Okay. I'll just pull over here. Doing? Okay, we found Marsha. Donna's Donna here. Me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we tried this is to. our friend Donna. <laughs> Who's all here? Uh, you don't know him. Oh, you see the name. Oh, yeah, not Marcia, Rick. So. oh that's not Marsha's, that's yours. Yes. Oh no, Marsha's down there. Oh. Okay. It's fun. So we were able to see our friend. And she said that our friend Marsha is down I'm here. I'm going to check out further up. I don't think Marsha was there. No, oh, that there's, wasn't. There's Chuck and everybody up here. Oh, okay, Chuck and everybody's up here at the very end. That was Donna. I thought so. Um, is is um, there room down there? We haven't got there yet. Oh, we haven't gotten down here yet. Gotcha. There's our girl from Marsha. Hi, y'all. <laughs> you look nice and tan. Thanks. You've been That's... sitting at the lake for a while. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> Very nice. All right, well, Aja's back there. We're trying to figure out, uh, I think there's room back there where Chuck's at. Okay, yeah, now that's a little unlovable. Well, like we're there. okay. All right, guys, I told you I would show you guys how to do these. I didn't ask Aja, so shh. <laughs> she won't care. Anyways. This is uh, just the brand I got. You can use any brand. This is beef bean and green chili burritos. And I took them out of the freezer probably about an hour ago. You can put them in frozen. I did them frozen last time and they were just fine. And I think that's how Aja does them as well. And I think Aja does hers a little bit different. I'm going to add a few things to mine. Scotty loves his onions, so I gotta get some onion in there. All right, so half of a big onion. So I got a jalapeno. I'm gonna go ahead and seed it and take the vein out. And I just, because I have the gloves on, I just stick my finger in there and pull that all out of there. Some people don't need to use those gloves, these type of gloves, but I don't mess around with these things. They are way too hot for me. I've been burnt one too many times. So I'm just going to slice these up thinly. But big enough so if somebody doesn't want them, they can pick them off because they're going to go on the top. So, if somebody doesn't like jalapenos, they can just take them off. Alright, so I'm going to do things a little bit different than what Aja does. I'm going to just take, I have a little bit of salsa in this jar. I don't want to get rid of it, so I'm just going to put that down here on the bottom. And then I've got some homemade salsa that I made the other night. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the bottom as well. So just like if you were making a lasagna, um, put something on the bottom like that. I don't know if you guys can see very well. Just so that when you put these, 
down like that. Seam side down. I don't know if it really matters. That way it's got something to sit on. It won't stick. Now I'm going to go ahead and make all these up because this is a really good um, leftover. Believe it or not, it actually tastes, I think, almost better, honestly, the next day. This is no bean. This is the only brand I could find. Doesn't I don't think it matters at all what brand you use. This is um, a really easy thing to put together when you've been traveling or like today we had so much going on that when you get to the camp you're just tired you're exhausted from running all over the place my onions in here oop jumping ship so then you're just going to take cheese sometimes i shred it myself sometimes i don't depends on like i said today we've been moving around and I just want to get dinner in the oven and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and just put this on top because that will blend right into the cheese. Yum. Does that look good or what? Okay, then I'm just going to put the jalapenos right on top. Kind of a lot of jalapenos but that'll still be yummy so that's going to go in to a 350 degree oven oh i think probably about i'm thinking probably 45 minutes i don't know i forget i've only made it one time so i'll let you guys know how long all right i got the casserole out of the oven oh it's so good smelling yummy so it took about like i said about 45 minutes and if your burritos are frozen it may take a little longer and then i made a salad to go along with it with just some uh oh i cut up some purple cabbage half of uh avocado because i'm going to use the avocado tomorrow and something else the other half and some tomatoes and then i just made a olive oil vinaigrette with some chive or uh, shallots garlic cilantro some garlic powder onion powder and some cumin so that was it and it's absolutely scrumptious all right well we're all set up we've got our chairs out our rug out got our profane propane fire that was a bat mm -hmm. Mm. our propane fire pit oh my gosh we've got bats like going around us <laughs> we're getting ready to have dinner and i'm going to show you guys the lake before it gets too dark it's absolutely gorgeous here and bats well worth the trip down here thank you for riding along with us and i hope you enjoyed the video so please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you could have a wonderful night love y'all be safe out there I am such a lucky man. Alright, already on there. Bon appetit. Gracias. <laughs>